Kate Corrigan, and I am so pleased to be here with you on Ambergris Key today. Um, I am here, it's 10 o'clock on a Friday, and I actually love it that I get to uh, get out and about now to be able to bring to you another fantastic property here on Ambergris Key. Um, today, we're going to be looking at Casa El Fuerte, a beautiful, beautiful Spanish-style home, cathedral ceilings, two-bedroom, one-bath, on a single family home. Um, we've got a wonderful observatory out in the garden. We're close to steps from the beach, steps from, from the local uh, convenience stores and amenities. And also we are only about a mile from the main town of San Pedro. Um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about property before we get cracking. Um, it's Casa El Fuerte is its name. Its name uh, is House of Strength. Um, and that is a very great name. It's in a super neighborhood. It's in San Telmo area of Ambergris Key. And uh, it's two bedroom, one bath, just under 1400 square foot of floor space. And it's priced at $335,000. The land itself is 4,000 square foot, so there's room to fill in the veranda, put some extra outside living space in there, and you also actually have a garage, so you can drive your vehicle, your golf cart, we drive golf carts here, onto the property and uh, be able to store it whether you're here or away and keep all your um, water toys and those types of things available to you as well, all stacked away outside the house. Um, it runs on city water, electricity and sewer. Um, there's no HOA. You own the property, so there's nobody else to pay. But you might want to have the yard guy come once a week just to check things over, which is probably about uh, 25 to 30 US uh, per week. The property taxes are 125 US per year. <laughs> And the current owners do choose not to insure it against hurricanes. It's in a great location, very well protected. And they've decided that that wasn't something that they wanted to invest in. And they haven't had any problems since. Um, what else can I tell you about this wonderful spot before I move you, take you around? Built in 1982, we believe. Um, it's just beautiful. So, and the lot size is approximately, because it's got some corners and things cut off, about 75 by 53, which is ample space for this, what you have right here. It would work great as a family home, um, your home away from home. You can just lock it up, go away, have your yard guy keep, up, uh, keep an eye on the outside and you are absolutely golden. It would also go very well into a proper, uh, vacation home for families and people coming to visit just because of its location. And it's just, just a lovely home. So I'm going to take you through. Let me turn my camera around and we will be cooking on gas. There we go. Here I am. I am sitting in the living room area. Um, let me uh, bring you in as if we were walking in through the house. As, I, as if you're with me. So here we are. This is our gorgeous yard garden tropical garden I like to describe it as it's cool you've got neighborhood you know you're just part of a neighborhood here it's just so lovely and then here we are in the main living area of the house uh, this is a sofa sleeper you've got plenty of light in here windows all around there is mosquito screens for each of these the current owners don't put them up they do um, wear and tear, and it isn't a buggy time of year for us. Here's a gorgeous kitchen. You've got stainless steel appliances. You've got LG, Whirlpool, all good brands, all in good working order. You've got this wonderful closet space. Pantry this is where your water heater will be. And uh, it, it's been redesigned this. You've got this wonderful um, concrete surface that just goes i think goes so well in this great home and then you've got this spanish style throughout let me take you into the main bedroom this is what they use as their master um it is a little smaller than the guest but it's used as the master because it goes straight onto the bathroom and you've got ocean views from here too i mean if you look out i'm going to take you up to the observatory very soon so you can see what we've got going on over there and how close we are to the ocean but yeah you've got your built-in closets um it's a great size Look out, either look out onto the garden, look out onto the street. It's a very pretty home. 
Then we have the bathroom, oh, beautiful size. I'm from England, so I'm used to tiny little bathrooms, tiny. So these ones are really so lovely. You can certainly swing a cat around in here. Um, you've got your closet space here, open closet space for your towels, linens, everything that you might need. And you've also got a hookup for a washer dryer stackable, but independent front loading units would also fit one on top of each other in this space. Then we have your shower, great size shower. It's a good, uh, oh, I would say three and a half foot, one, two, three, yeah, about three foot wide. Walk-in, shower room, leaving plenty of space. And here we are back out into this wonderful living space. And look at these ceilings. They are absolutely beautiful. All Belizean hardwoods. I couldn't tell you all the names of them. And then you have here these lovely stained glass window features, which I love. They're in both in the eaves of both on either side. Can't really see with the lights. Let's see if I turn that off. Still can't see it. Um, and then we have the wonderful guest room, currently with a double in here, a queen. I think this is but would absolutely fit a um, king if you wanted to. Built in closet space as well. It's just the two of them. This would make a wonderful office space, guest suite. You could even put an extra bathroom in there if you wanted to. Let me take you out. Now, where did I leave my shoes? <laughs> and I'm gonna show you around the yard and also into the observatory too. I hope I'm not moving too fast. I do quite a few of these every Friday, uh, 10 a.m. I've been doing live virtual tours during the pandemic. And I, if you uh, are used to tuning in to me and you're going to come and visit, do know that 10 a.m. every Friday, I have an open house somewhere on the island. Here is the garage space. Now, when I say garage, you remember we drive golf carts here. So this is good size for your golf cart. Uh, here's the screens that I spoke about. And they also have a rack for a kayak or paddleboard or whatever is your fancy for your water sports. Now, let me take you upstairs. For those of you just joining me, my name is Kate Corrigan and I am here on Ambergris Key. Ambergris Key is an island just off the coast of Belize. It's about 28 miles long and a mile wide, give or take. I'm not going to argue the difference. We usually have a population of between about 18 to 25,000, depending on the time of year. How many visitors we have on island? How many second homeowners we have visiting back again? And uh, I'll say what time of year it is. We have a, a tourist season, which is all year round, but is at its height, usually between about November and June, probably May, early June, when people come to visit for many reasons. And one of which, as I catch my breath, I'm going to show you right now, is this. Whew. Gorgeous. Caribbean Sea. A barrier reef. Now, from personal experience, I can tell you, it takes me 20 minutes to swim to the reef front crawl i'm not fast <laughs> with snorkel and mask and nine minutes to kayak directly out there and along the reef here you have um about over 150 different dive sites you go past the reef and you have a uh, deep sea fishing and on the back side of the island on this side just past these trees and things 
you have what we call the lagoon, which is the bay side of the island. And there you have um, most amazing fishing flats. People come from all over the world to experience this, whether it be for the fishing, whether it be for the history, whether it be for the diving, sailing, um, all of them though come for the culture. The people here are just fantastic. So today I'm here at Casa El Puente. It's in a wonderful neighborhood. You've got a good mix of local community, expat community right here. Um, you also have some uh, rentals. I think there's four rentals just here too. You are a mile from town, which takes about 20 minutes to walk. Just up this street here to the end, you see where the vehicle is going by right now, where this truck is going by. You are on the main street, um, see, see Great Drive, and you have a, on the corner at the end of the street, a baker's, across the street, a local restaurant, Antojitos, um, to great soups and stewed chicken. Um, you've got Superbuy, a full, full, uh, fully grocery store, a Chinese restaurant, a thrift store, a local supermarket, a barber, and a pharmacy just at the end of the street. Next door, you might ask me, what is going on with all this content, with all of this work? This is all due to be completed here in this light in um, by the end of this year, beginning of January. We were held back about a month or two, it was due to be completed in a month. But this is an Alaya, is the Alaya Hotel, it's a Marriott signature or autograph hotel. Um, these units here is what is Banyan Bay. They are all being renovated to the Marriott standard. You do have opportunity to purchase here too. And uh, also the Alaya is there as well. With that comes coffee shops, restaurants, um, uh, social evenings, a gym. You've got the dive shop and a restaurant right here that you can use um, as a paying customer not staying at the resort. Some of those amenities will be available to you. I know that in the past they've done yoga, um, they do aquafit, they do pilates all at the end of the dock here. Um, and then they, uh, they just have so much going on. Here's like a little chat, walking his puppies. Okay, I am going to take you back down and show you how close we are to the ocean from your front door. So here we are back into the lovely tropical garden, your veranda and garage space. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you for a little walk outside the property so you can see how close we are to the ocean. Look at this. I'm going to count my steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, nineteen, twenty. And here you are on the beach. As I say, they're doing some work at the moment. This is all fixing the beaches and everything to make them even more beautiful. And here we are. Your this is the sailing club next door to you. And this is your coastline. I actually walk this beach every morning. The guys are going out fishing for some stuff today. Uh, this takes you on to Caribbean Villas, um, Xanadu, an eco resort. Uh, there's a little day spa for massages and things right here. And then here you have um, the Police Pro Dive and also Pier 366. This wonderful digger. Uh, I'm sad that they're doing this today, but I love that you get to see how um, much they're doing, work they're doing here to make this as beautiful. This will be completed and this won't be happening um, after the beginning of the year when it opens as a, uh, a fully fledged Marriott Signature or Autograph Hotel. Absolutely lovely, these good little puppies here. So for those of you just joining me, my name is Kate Corrigan and I'm here today in this beautiful backdrop. Um, on Amber Bruce Key. If you have any questions on this gorgeous home, Casa El Fuerte, do feel free to take a look at it on my website. I've got this and many more. It's uh, frontstreetbelize.com is my website. You can email me at kate at frontstreetbelize.com and you can call me on my US number 632-4102. You can WhatsApp me on my local Belize cell phone number, 
which is Belize, and the country code for Belize is plus 501 632 4102 is my number. And you can WhatsApp me, send me links to properties you've been looking at, ask me any questions that you like. I'm going to walk you through one more time to Casa Alberto, go through the stats on it for you so you know what you're looking at and how much it's going to cost you to move in here by Christmas. And uh, then I'm going to sign off. So here we go. I'm going to turn you around. Here we are in your beautiful tropical garden with your observatory. It goes up over 30 foot. And your garden, your garage. All right. And here we go in. This is your, you can enclose this space and make it into uh, another extension of your living area. But here we are in the beautiful, beautiful open pan living as your sofa sleeper. It's a gorgeous space and these lovely cathedral ceilings, stained glass accent right there. All Belizean hardwoods, Spanish tile floor throughout. Here is your lovely guest room, currently with a queen. And you have built-in closets here left open for you to see. A table that seats six could seat eight if you had some extra guests turn up. Lovely breakfast bar, newly fitted kitchen, concrete countertops finished beautifully. All stainless steel working appliances. We've got LG uh, fridge freezer. You've got your Whirlpool um, oven and over counter microwave. Pantry, unheard of here in Belize, but absolutely love it. Not all these houses built uh, this time actually had those. Then we have the master, what is used as the master bedroom at the moment. This gorgeous light. You're looking out onto your tropical garden, but also you can see the ocean through here. And your walk-in closet. And here we go into your bathroom. Really great size bathroom. You've got uh, shelving for your linens and towels for guests and you. You've got a washer dryer hookup right here in the cupboard. It would also fit a stack of two front loaders if you wanted to stack them. Great size bathroom. Great size shower, sorry. A lovely glass box so you can actually have privacy but there. And here we are back out into the open pan living kitchen area. Really, really lovely. So, Casa El Fuerte, just under 1,400 square foot, priced at 335,000 US dollars. We are about one mile from town and a 20 minute walk along the beach to get there. You are um, only a 10 minute kayak to the reef, the greatest barrier reef in the world, I think. <laughs> and you are about two minutes away from the bakers and stores and all the uh, conveniences that you might need. You've got a beautiful um, high-end restaurants, you've got Caribbean villas, you've got Xanadu's little bar, all in walking distance in this neighborhood. Um, the neighborhood is San Telmo and it's, it, it's a good mix of local community plus um, expat community. So it really is about life in Belize here, uh, whether you've got one to have have it as a vacation rental or whether you want to have it as a home away from home for you that you keep for yourself or long term this would be a great it's a proper home on the island and uh, there's no HOA fees because you own the property that lot is approximately 75 by 53 feet um, you've got about 180 foot of covered veranda and it's a concrete Spanish style one level home at the moment with an opportunity that you could um, have, it's a very high ceiling. So you could make another floor if you wanted or raise the roof if you needed to. Um, there is your steps from the beach, you're on city water, sewage, um, septic, 
uh, sorry, your, uh, your city water, electricity, sewer, internet and cable is all available right here. Property taxes per year is only 125 US dollars. Um, I think that's about it. It's been wonderful seeing you today. My name is Kate Corrigan. Call me, email me, contact me. You can, you can get through to me on my Facebook page or you can, uh, if you're watching this now, you're probably on my website, which is www.frontstreetbelize.com. Thank you so much for tuning in and do look out for our, our weekly lives. And if you're in town on a Friday at 10 o'clock, come see me in person at one of my open houses.